fellas, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good day. Today we're checking out a game called Frontier Pilot Simulator. The core of this game is that you're a transport pilot for the newly discovered and in the process of being terraformed planet called Astlin. And how you can imagine this vehicle that we're using, it's a truck driver, a helicopter pilot, and an airplane pilot all combined into one. But many thanks to Frontier Pilot Simulator for sponsoring and powering the channel. Check out the link. It's a Steam link in the description below to learn more and hopefully get into the action. It's 15% off right now, so this is a great time to get your hands on it and uh, test your skills. And with going through that link, you massively support this channel. Now, this game is still in alpha, so a lot more things to come. Some of the things that are on the timeline is a storyline and most enticing to me is base building it's gonna be really fun to see the resources you bring to an outpost build it up and develop it and they're listening to the players feedback with the amount of news posts and updates they bring out i mean just recently june 14th is when they added the hangar and the cockpit modes for this game so they're updating weekly not only the players but also the game which is a really good sign in an alpha so what we're going to do is I'm going to load a file that was in the very beginning of my campaign or career. And then after I teach you a little bit, little bit about the basics, then I'll load my uh, last save one to show you what I've gotten. It, um, it takes a lot of crashing and uh, to plan it right to where you can build up a good credit, a credit amount. Because you will crash a lot in this game until you kind of learn what happens you learn the wind you learn you know some of the storms that can roll in it's not just something you can hop in and go deliver right away you're going to have to practice a little bit so okay we're here with our first ship pretty basic and uh we have vtol and i think that might be it i can double check in the air but i have, actually haven't tested it with this one my other one has uh some other different functions but okay so we're in here and we'll go to map and we have this big island that we're on and we can see what uh, they need necessary items and what is available let's check the central so as you can see they need b2 rations and over here this generates b2 rations this is where b2 rations are produced and i actually recommend focusing on b2 rations uh Places pay a lot for them, so you get a big return. Now, just to note, the more you deliver, the more less demand goes down, except for Bridgeport. For some reason, Bridgeport really likes their B2 rations at 1937 credits. But okay, so we can put on the mini-map here, and we can do our first takeoff, and that's just to the east. And as you can see, pretty cool animations. And it's kind of like a... Wait, does this have that... We might crash here, but hang on. No, it does not have the mode that my other uh, aerial or my other vehicle has. So we can be nice and careful. Don't want to be too fast. And to trigger the um, trading area, which is right here, we got to line up perfectly with it. And this requires you to keep engine power and just judge your speed. Okay, we'll start slowing down here. We'll go over to the left a little bit. This should be okay. And we'll just back it up beautiful wow i think my best one yet so once you land it turns green and we're able to see what they have to offer now we can recharge here see how we used half of our fuel it looks like or energy we can hold x or a to charge and then we'll grab some b2 rations for 850 credits bottom right that's how many credits i have left now you really got to be careful on your first flight out as um okay now, now it's gonna get loaded for us i always love micro animations guys you know me. Okay, goes inside the ship. We exit. And we're ready to go to... Well, we can actually take these anywhere where they're in demand. So Bridgeport for a very small short-haul flight. Or we can go to uh, Esland Center. We'll put a marker on there. Now, when you're on the ground, you don't have to fly everywhere. As you can see, I'm rolling. And so this is how you can get around some of the uh, ports, runways, etc., without, you know, using your fuel. Now, to make it go quicker, you can hop on your, your engines a little bit. I love the mechanics, too. Okay, park it right there. And here's our hangar. 
But this is where we can make all the upgrades, repair our vehicle, which we will get damaged, and uh, buy new ships. But we're not going to upgrade right now. We don't have enough uh, capital at all. Okay. Unrestrictive takeoff. Granite, thank you, ATC. Good. Don't drop me like that. And you can really get crazy with your flying. Now, I might crash you just for the fun of it. But you got to be careful of the wind. Now, there is a nice tool here that you can switch in or switch on and turn off. You can kind of see where the wind's headed. So it's pretty calm right now. Not too much to worry about. I like to, I like to kind of have these off. Gives it more of a challenge. And we'll start dropping altitude. Now, you just don't want to drop from a high altitude just because your engines take so long to counteract the, uh, the losing of altitude, if you will. This isn't really a, this isn't really a long flight at all. Ooh, 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 come on, come on. Oh, the wind's pushing me down. Gotta be careful here. Power, power, and we're a little bit heavy because we took on those B2 rations. Okay, almost, mistakes were almost made. But we're okay. And nicely easy does it. Okay, we're here. Sell. So as you can see, we have the B2 rations inside of our ship. Bottom right is our credits. We press A to sell it. They needed that. And so the arm will get it and we can leave it right away. Now, there are sometimes passengers at these different ports, but... They're not as lucrative as B2 rations. As you can see, we can buy them for 850 here, then sell them here again for uh, 2,000 credits. And I need to stress that it's really important to get a good buffer when you first start. Those B2 rations are gonna help you out because when you crash, I'll just show you what happens here. You get ejected into this pod. This pod will find its way back to the nearest, uh, I think, place where a hangar is and it will sign you a new ship but it will cost you some insurance money and a donation to something so you definitely want to have that buffer yeah we're going to go back right where we took off to deliver the b2 rations right on that little pedestal right there it's not that much but if you don't start off well you're going to have a bad time okay so we'll exit this and so when i first played this game i was like oh that's cool you know we can go around an island delivering stuff but then as i kind of explored it more I found out that, yeah, there's places where, yeah, there's really far destinations that will pay extremely high amounts for different cargo. Now, to show you that, we're going to exit the main menu, and I'll load one of mines. I think it's Bravo. We'll just see. Yes, okay, this is it. And as you can see already, much bigger ship has cargo capacity for sometimes two pieces of cargo, which uh, in the old ship, if we try to lift water places, because water is extremely heavy, we wouldn't be able to do, it, do that. You need a ship like this. So what we're going to do is go on the map and we're going to try to do... So they need water bad, but at the same time... This 50 liters of water, don't know how many liters per bottle or for the total, is an extremely high demand by Raglord. So we'll mark that. Actually, we'll mark this just so we don't get off course too much. We'll just go here first. Right? That was the right place. Yeah, water sold there. Okay. Yeah, this guy is really big. The problem is that the bigger the ship, the more, the, whoa, whoa. We are in a little bit of a turbulent weather there. The more uh, the atmosphere plays a role on it. But at the same time, the more weight you have to push through certain elements. Now, as you can see, there are some hostile places in this game, such as a volcano and there's geysers. You don't want to fly in there. Your engines will not like you for too long battery will get ruined your engines will start to, to starve and uh well you'll crash okay almost here we'll start to slow down or just get off the gas give a little bit of burn so we don't drop out of the sky supersonic there's our port
And just to reiterate, this is an alpha of the game. So already pretty darn impressive what they've done so far. Now we're going to land right here in our zone. We're going to do a little turnaround here. Let's not do... She's, she's a big girl. Okay, balance her out a little bit. Oh, too much, too much. There we go. We'll pop it down right there. Okay, and we go forward. Access it. No. No, no flights today. Now, I can't see where our total tonnage is, but I think that we can hold like 10 tons. Okay, ready to go. Now, our plot is way over here. Like the flights we were just making were puddle jumps. This is actually a proper flight. Now, the first time I flew this, I didn't know about a different mode, which we had to take off, get up to good altitude, and then we'll pop it into that mode. So I I went all that way in VTOL. Nice and high we go. Maybe around 1,000 meters. I mean, right now we can pop it into it, but it'd be kind of risky. Now, let's do it. Flight mode engage, pull up. There we go. Okay, actually, not that bad. But now this mode is much more efficient. We're going to climb up to, I would say, 2,000 meters. We might get a weather report here. The higher we go, the more efficient we are. At least for the time being. So I don't know. It feels really good up here. We can go a little bit higher, I would say. Let's check the weather. We have a strong headwind. Oh, nope, not that high. Our engine starved. No. Oh, sh oh, shoot. We went supersonic. Now, the problem here is that we can fly well, but our radar can't show us where we are. So we're going to get out of the supersonic. And it should be ready in 20 seconds. So we're going to keep it at maybe around 1,500 meters. Right here is good. And we can tailor this. Oop, nope, don't want to do that. We can just set a nice cruising velocity. Okay, yep. You see on the uh, top HUD, we're a little bit off course. And we'll go down a little bit. We're drifting off our altitude. Okay, this is perfect. A little increase in speed. Don't want to use too much power here. We're already at maybe two-thirds power left. And we're just about to hit halfway there. But once we get up in the air, once we get nice and level, some static as well. Dangerous ski level. Look, whoa! It's my first time in a storm like this! Whoa! Up we go, up we go! Oh shoot, we are, we're trailing smoke and everything. Let's keep it level. Not too much power. All right, guys, I don't know. I'm, I'm just following my HUD. That's all I'm doing right now. I don't know if we're upside down or anything. We're stalling. We're stalling. Oh, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know how I, I'm, I'm oriented right now. Okay, we're getting more power this way. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I think we're okay. More speed. Okay, we're, we're at a safe flight speed now. Let's go down, let's go down. Okay, we're gonna stay low, I guess. Get a power setting to stay below that cloud. Whoa. Okay. We might have, I don't, I don't know what, I, this is the first time it's ever happened to me. A circuit breaker has been repaired. Whoa, we lost so much time. Let's 
Stay below, stay below. Okay, 19 kilometers out. And we're gonna pop out of this mode in a second. Wow, I actually thought we were dead dead. We were in a massive stall. I don't know how we got out of it. Okay, switch the mode over. Burn that, burn that, thank you. There's my landing zone, let's slow down even more. Yes, good, good. I'll take that. Yes, okay, and then we can always balance it out on the ground. Now, remember those B2 rations we delivered to Central? Well, these are worth about five times more, I would say. And the credits go up. 68,000. For some water! But, you know, terraforming, new world, needs supplies. Very expensive. And then, while we're here, we'll just head forward. Because we got heavily damaged in that storm. And luckily for us, there's a hangar here. And also, different hangars around the map have different, you know, upgrades you can get. Which makes exploring and traveling beneficial. Okay, service repair, 200 credits. Pretty cheap, I gotta say. And there we go. Done. Well, fellas, hope you have enjoyed today's video. Check out that Steam link in the description below to learn more about this game. It's 15% off right now. And uh, going to that link will greatly support me. So thanks to those who do so. Guys, have a safe day. Until next time, peace out.